Hello, my name is John Gentry, president of Gentry Motor Works. Thank you for your interest in our Gentry Motor Works Cobras. We appreciate you allowing us to share with you our approach to create a very special automobile. First and foremost, you should know we are a manufacturer and not a kit builder. We manufacture in-house both the Shelby 427SC and 289 FIA Cobra models. This includes complete Mark III chassis, suspensions, and bodies. We even fabricate almost the entire car. We even make all the parts to the air intake vents. Our company's mission and goal is very simple and focused, to produce a limited number of the finest Cobra replicas available anywhere at any price. For those discriminating owners who look for investment quality cars. What we mean is that these cars are the very highest quality. The GMW Cobra is a car that has the greatest attention paid to details and features. This car is a fine classic with many features that will allow you the enjoyment of a new Cobra while offering the very best overall value. We hope that this presentation allows you to have a better understanding of what separates a Gentry Motor Work car from the others. GMW cars are highly engineered and designed, built to be driven daily. In fact, they may not be, but when this approach is taken, we do things very differently than somebody building a Sunday afternoon car. This method also builds value into each car, and everything we do has to address two factors. The first factor is how each item affects reliability. The second, how each item affects the long-term value of the car. We, in fact, view these cars as substantial assets and are very sensitive to those things that affect this value. Let's now address some of the factors that affect reliability and the long-term value of the car. One of the most important features of our GMW Cobra is our use of the original designed Mark III coilover chassis. Mark III is the designation that Shelby, Ford, and AC gave the coilover chassis they designed for the original 427. As you are aware, there are many versions of this classic Cobra. And I would like to spend a few moments describing the main concept differences between a GMW handcrafted Cobra and the other Cobra replicas. The other replicas are often cars designed with the approach and understanding that most major components would be assembled from other various cars, that the cars may be purchased as kits, and completed to some level by a home builder. This approach dictates many undesirable compromises from the original cars, such as ride quality, steering geometry, vehicle ride height, seating position, incorrect foot boxes, steering columns at the wrong angle, and many, many other factors. To avoid all this, a GMW Cobra is a handcrafted custom car. The Mark III chassis started with a clean sheet of paper. And a very important fact few people are aware of is the actual frame to ground position. This is displayed by the placement of the front lower A-frame mounting point. On the 427 Cobra, the mounting point is on top of the chassis not the bottom as on other cars. It allows the frame to be extremely low with a very low center of gravity, unlike the others. This is the secret to one reason the original Cobra handled so well. Even with its tremendous power, this frame placement also is apparent in the cockpit depth, seat placement, and other locations. Only the original Shelby Ford AC design directed our car's design and specifications. The frame and suspension components are all hand fabricated. The frame is handmade on its own three quarter ton frame fixture, welded by a certified welder. The suspension is DOM tubing, heliarc welded, and all pieces are hand fabricated. The design is not from a Jaguar, MGB, Pinto, Mustang, or et cetera, 
but from the original Shelby Cobra design. So the Mark III chassis adds substantial value and desirability to our cars. It takes a duplication of originality to a new level. The chassis, along with its highest level of craftsmanship and design features, offer the very best Cobra value. We construct four cars at a time. Completion time is approximately 16 weeks. It takes a four-man crew around 1,500 man hours to construct each unit. This does not count the time required by our certified body technician to complete the extensive paint process. As we look at other issues which enhance the reliability and long-term value of the car, I would like to share with you three factors that we have found that each person interested in a new Shelby Cobra should carefully consider. The first factor, the closer a car is built to the original specifications, utilizing as much of the original equipment, the better it will hold its value and desirability. The second factor, the original cars and most current Cobras have several design problems that need to be addressed to have a car that will be reliable and enjoyable. These upgrades are done not to violate the spirit of the original Cobra, but to simply to make the car reliable and drivable. The third factor is the level of craftsmanship that is and should be expected with this level and type of automobile. Every item, every detail, no matter how small or where it is located on the car, deserves the highest level of attention. When all the above factors and items are taken into consideration and are addressed, then you will have a very special Cobra automobile that has the elements that will allow your asset to be protected. You will have a car that you can be extremely proud of owning. I would like to take a few moments to review a Gentry Motor Work Cobra regarding each of these three factors. The first factor, the original 427 cars came with either a 427 or 428 big block forward only. We recommend the 428 for most of our clients because the hydraulic lifters make a more streetable engine. Any other engine, small block forward or any Chevrolet engine, has a major negative effect on the value of the asset. For the 289 FIA car, the use of the correct pre-emission 289 engine is strongly suggested. We recommend and choose for most of our clients to reduce the engine compression slightly and to use a modest camshaft. Stainless steel valves and hardened exhaust seats are installed. This combination allows for the safe use of 92 octane current pump gas. The small reduction in power has little effect considering the car's power to weight ratio. We use as many of the original components as possible, cooling recovery tanks, original intake manifolds and hard accelerator leakages, fuel logs, even to the extent that we handcraft many items to duplicate the original components. We install original forward four-speed top loader transmissions. The correct wheelbase is 90 inches. Several current replicas have extended wheelbases. This is done in an attempt to achieve additional cockpit room, but it changes the body form and shape away from the original Cobra body. We use the correct wheelbase and have done extensive but subtle changes inside that allow for maximum room. Our special seats and other items allow for the best desired arm reach, steering wheel, and leg position possible. A six foot two driver can stretch his left leg out straight. We find that most of our cars are single driver cars. To position the driver in the most desired location, we choose not to move the driver forward towards the steering wheel and thereby cramping him, but to reposition the pedals rearward to the best of several available positions. The correct rear axle and suspension is an independent system, not a straight axle. This is done for maximum control and drivability. Our cars use the original Mark III rear suspension manufactured by Gentry Motor Works. The second area of consideration 
the original cars in most current Cobra replicas has several design problems that need to be addressed to have a car that can be driven safely and enjoyed. One problem we've already discussed, the interior room and driver position. The major problem is cockpit temperature. And we have done extensive research and testing and have developed a nine layer insulation system to address this problem. This includes a full handcrafted aluminum firewall and foot box system. And whenever we have a request for written material, we include copies of two magazine articles. The first article included a report of two gentlemen who drove a 427 to a Shelby convention. When they arrived, their feet were wrapped in asbestos. The second article is an interview with Carroll Shelby after he was driving the new Viper in the Indianapolis 500 race as the pace car. They were comparing the two cars and Shelby made a statement, in the Cobra where your tennis shoe would melt to the accelerator pedal because of the engine heat. Two cars sitting side by side may appear similar, but they may not be built the same way at all. Frame and chassis flex is another problem. Most current cars are not designed to address the horsepower and torque of an actual big block. Frame flex occurred with the original Cobra. They simply made the frame too thin, trying to say, save as much weight as possible for racing. It was not uncommon for the main frame rails to be cut and reinforced. Our design strengthens the chassis from the very beginning to address this problem. Electrical systems of the original cars were British and were unfortunately known for their problems and unreliability. Other current cars still follow the old design. We have done extensive redesigns on the electrical system not to violate the spirit of the original Cobra, but to simply to make the car reliable and drivable. Several of our changes. With a fiberglass body, electrical grounding is a major concerning problem. We choose to use a full aluminum ground plate behind the instrument panel that allows for the most positive multi grounding points possible. It also allows for a 20% reduction in the wiring behind the panel, which lends itself to less maintenance. The location and type of the fuse panel has been upgraded from an old style unit located on the engine side of the firewall, subject to the elements, to a new blade type unit located inside the protected cockpit. An example of our detailed approach in our manufacturing hand-built cars is in the wiring harness itself. Inside the front and rear harnesses, we include extra uncommitted wires that would be allowed for additional systems that could be added later or in case of a damaged wire due to a screw, etc. Rather than having to disassemble the wiring harness, the technician would simply change the function from the damaged wire to the new uncommitted wire. These are but a very, very few of the many details that make up the high quality Gentry Motor Work Cobra. The third major area of comparison is the level of craftsmanship. At Gentry, our golden purpose is to produce a hand-built Cobra that can be driven every day and that re reflects truly outstanding workmanship. We have talked to this point about the detail and attention to design of the GMW Cobra, but we need also to discuss the exceptional level of craftsmanship which is apparent at every point on the car. As examples of the detail in craftsmanship, the stainless steel lock nut mounting various hardwares is not attached by a bolt drilled through the firewall, but is secured to a stainless steel stud welded to a plate that is riveted to the firewall, then overlaid with the insulation system and including an aircraft nylon wear washer between the aluminum and steel to prevent squeaks and rattles. The floating spring loaded accelerator linkage is all custom designed and produces our plant. It provides for safe and positive control of the fuel. The entire engine compartment, including the full aluminum firewall, inner fender skirts, and upper radiator plate are all handcrafted. Inside the nose area 
is handcrafted aluminum. Besides looking very attractive, it serves a very functional purpose. It allows us to direct all possible air through the cooling radiator. Even items seldom thought of, like the aluminum fuel tanks, are greatly thought out. Small items, such as additional welding around the filler neck, provides for a safe fit of the approved fuel hose. We also provide fuel cell foam inside our GMW tanks to add an additional level of safety in case of rear collision. GMW manufactures all the parts of the original design air intake vents. I would like now to share with you other items of our specifications and details of these fine cars. The engine is an original FE series Ford V8, 428 cubic inches, high performance, balance, single carburetor is standard, stainless steel valves, hardened exhaust valve seats, Ford's pistons, ball heim accelerator linkage, cast aluminum valve covers, and hydraulic clutch. The exhaust system has a set of full tube headers leading to a side exhaust, and we choose the ceramic treating coat the exhaust headers. This coating is done for two reasons. First, to extend the useful life of the item, and second, the coating also helps transfers and contain the exhaust gas heat out of the engine compartment. This is another element to our solution for the engine temperature problem. The oil system is a nine quart total system, remote filter, forward mounted original oil cooler. We use an expanded oil capacity in oil cooler to reduce the engine's operating temperatures. The expanded oil system increases the engine's life, durability, and reliability. The cooling system has a six core radiator, original type coolant fan tank, fan with both thermostat and manual controls. The six core radiator allows the big block to be operated in areas of the country with high temperatures that normally would restrict the car's use during some time of the year, such as in the southwest and southern Florida. GMW includes both an automatic cooling fan system that is activated by a thermostat and a manual override switch. The manual system permits the driver to activate the cooling fan early in the event that he's driving the car extremely hot or slow to, uh, traffic or that he'll be driving the car at extremely high speeds. To prevent leaks, the fan is hard mounted to the chassis not the radiator core itself. The brake system is a dual brake type, front and rear, four wheel disc with hydraulic lock rear parking brake. GMW uses the Wheelwood road racing brake system for all four wheels, featuring 11 75 inch vented rotors, each slowed by a stainless steel four piston caliber. Their brake pad material selection can adapt the car to different types of driving. The four-wheel disc brake system uses vented brake rotors. The system is designed that the car be suitable for a high-speed touring car while offering the reliability needed. The frame is designed to duplicate the original design of the large tube ladder style frame. The Gentry version is constructed of an upgraded four inch drawn over mantled seamless steel tubing. The original design is upgraded by Gentry with the following improvements. The Gentry frame is constructed of thicker wall steel tubing to address the big block frame flex problem of the original cars. Two, the additional frame X bracing has been added. And three, a bolt in transmission cross member allows for easier clutch and transmission servicing. The Mark III front suspension features unequal length A-arms fabricated from tubing. These A-arms have adjustable cam adjustments and are attached to coilover shock springs. There is also a 7 8 inch stabilizer bar to minimize body roll during cornering. The suspension design itself has additional ladder frame bracing 
which provides the firmness and control needed in a high-speed road car. The GMW chassis provides much more rigidity for mounting the front suspension than did the original Cobra chassis. The Mark III rear, rear suspension is fully independent with fabricated A-arms and adjustable trailing arms. This suspension is adjustable at three points and features outboard disc brakes, adjustable coilover shock springs, and sliding rear axle shafts. The rear hubs have been upgrading with, with larger wheel bearings. This rear suspension system is the same type independent rear suspension used on the originals. This approach, including the improvements, give the car the road feel and control most desired by Cobra owners. GMW manufactures all these items, including the main rear hubs at our plant. The standard tires provided are Michelin 245-60-15 fronts, 255-60-15 rears. And we offer a range of uh, various speed rating to suit each owner. The tires are mounted on bolt-on Halliburton replicas made by Compomotive in England. This provides the original appearance and is reliable wheel for a street use. We offer pin drive wheels for those who want them. The GMW Cobra body is fabricated by Gentry Motor Works. We hand lay the fiberglass using a special high temperature resilient resin. These hand laid bodies are extremely strong and provided us with excellent service. These bodies have additional features unique to Gentry Motor Works. The firewall, cockpit, and trunk are bonded to form a semi-mono construction utilizing a hard mount system. In various selected locations, there are plates molded into the fiberglass body. These create a positive mounting system with the Mark III chassis. The extra fiberglass bonding makes for a body that will be rattle free. The GMW produced body has hand finished paint with competition stripes. The paint work is done by our factory trained and certified paint technician. We use the base and clear coat system for its total reliability and durability. The bumpers are competition style. The interior includes black vat dyed leather seats, black show colored quality carpet for the cockpit and trunk, and a leather dash. GMW interiors are patterned after the original but are upgraded with higher quality material. We use the original small steering wheel hub manufactured in England by the original supplier. We include cable actuated dual fresh air intake vents. GMW hand makes these cockpit air intake vents down to the air butterflies, control levers, and housing. The 12 volt electrical system has a Ford alternator with a modern blade type fuse panel and features emergency four way flashers, two speed windshield wipers and courtesy lights. The battery is mounted in the left rear fender and is connected with a master battery switch. The fuel tank and fuel filler are grounded for safety. Instruments include speedometer, tachometer, oil pressure, oil temperature, water temperature, and fuel level. Stuart Warner instruments are used throughout. Now, additionally, in parallel with these manual oil pressure and water temperature gauges, separate alarm warning lights and buzzers are included for those two functions. Also, the main ignition switch is protected by an anti-theft switch. We feel that the, these additional measures are appropriate to safeguard the vehicle and to increase the level of engine car protection. Other safety equipment includes a roll bar with a forward brace for the 289 car with a rear brace for the 427, three inch competition type seat belts and a dry shaft safety system. Additional standard equipment on the GMW Cobras include wind wings, sun visors, inside rear view mirror, 
side mirror. Available options include two-speed heaters and defrosters, full street bumpers with uprights and ovals, soft top with side curtains, hard top with side curtains, aluminum trunk, and air conditioning. We have both the 2D9 FIA and the 427 Cobra replicas. We believe Gentry Motor Works produces the finest examples of these cars anywhere. Our approach has been to make these the best designed cars possible to hold their value and to make them so reliable as to make them drivable on a daily basis. We believe the Gentry Motor Works Cobra has the greatest allegiance to the original designs but are also engineered well beyond the 1960 technology of the originals and the design and craftsmanship of these cars is second to none. We once again appreciate your interest and time in allowing us to share with you our approach in the construction of a new Shelby Cobra. We hope you now have a basic understanding of our abilities, design concepts, and desires in building our Gentry Motor Work cars. We look forward to being of service to you Thank you very much.